Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Throughout mankind's history, salt has played a vital role contributing to preserving food and adding flavor, being used as a medium of exchange and even currency in certain cultures. Usually, salt is obtained through several methods, including rock salt mining, brine evaporation, and seawater evaporation. However, some regions depend only on trade to get salt. We are the manufacturer of black salt in all over, uh, manufacturer of black salt, and we selling black salt in all over India, except abroad. Process of black salt is 16 hours. The artisan uh, started the process early in the morning and he spread opla and coal in the furnace. Of the different types of rock salt, black salt is one of the most distinctive, both visually and in flavor. India is the largest producer and exporter of black salt, considering it was originally manufactured there. Earthen pots are the primary containers for heating raw materials, such as white nugget salt, parad seeds, babul bark, and almond shells. Its distinctive color is due to the minerals and iron sulfides it acquires during production. He put samba salt and tifla, like herb bahira avla, in it. After one hour, he again put samba salt and put it in the pots. After then he, one hour, one hour, three times, he put samba salt in pots. Clay pots have excellent thermal properties that allow for uniform heat distribution. Some manufacturers purchase ready-made mud pots, while large producers have their own pot-making units. Workers use different firing materials, including coal, but also cow dung, and a mixture of coal with molasses. The kiln is fired up, typically taking 12 to 14 hours, during which time it reaches temperatures between 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit and 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. Reaching these temperatures is important, considering that the melting point of white salt is nearly 1,470 degrees Fahrenheit. As the pots heat up, it can release trace minerals and elements that infuse into the salt mixture. After 12 hour process, the pot full filled with uh, a liquid black salt. Okay. After then, he left for furnish whole night for cool down. And morning, we put the out put the pots outside 
एंड ब्लैक सॉल्ट इज रेडी इन शेप ऑफ पॉट्स Once the clay pots have been heated for a day, they are left to cool for another eight to ten hours, usually during the night. After cooling, the clay pots are moved to an open area where the workers can break them with hammers and release the product. Black salt formed is then categorized according to the quality of the mineral and the shape formed during firing. Crystal is the first grade formed in the core of the pots used for culinary purposes and premium products, while the outer layer semi-crystal has a moderate market value. We arrange black salt or packed black salt like powder. Which type of powder we getting? In small piece, big piece, in powder form, in many form, we pack that. Asin, tibiuk, artisanal sea salt also reflects these complex salt production processes. Mao ni ang ginama ng asin tibuok. Palit mo na ni kay perting lamig ang yung asina. Orang binitsina ni yung mood makatila mo na ni. Organic ni asin wa gani mga sagul. Kalayo ni lig ay wa gani hukaw kayo sa adlaw si gani. Bato. Kaya ako bato siya. Borag bato. Pero makatilaw mo ni tamis-tamis yun. Maghigami mong palit ni o makatilaw mo na ni. This unique salt from the Philippines is known for its distinctive pre-Hispanic production process that coincided with the rice harvest. The result of a labor-intensive process rooted in traditions, this type of salt is highly valued for its unique flavor and cultural significance. Koyo bukas ng amahan, nagbunot sa lubeso. Dad ko si Dragat, among sa unang sinangay pa umay si Kenan, among pasan para ng makuwan. Ihumul sa sparel, to kabulan ng humul ana, abot ng to kabulan, habwaon niya tataron, bulad, mag bulad isod ni isod si Kamalig, pundo sa diha kay mga huwag na pumiyog. The fibers of the coconut husks allow them to absorb considerable quantities of sea minerals once they're soaked in seawater for months. After drying, the husks are chopped and slowly burned until creating a coconut charcoal and ash mixture. Kaning tangke, muna yung mong punduhan na nagdagat. Kaning dagat dito, hubuton sa pam. Dito sa dagat, padulong, anong tangke. Muna yung mong gamitong diri sa pagdaob, anong daubanan. Having a specific composition of minerals, the ash is placed on a device made of bamboo and act as a filter for seawater. The resulting liquid is collected in a large carved out coconut trunk 
that serves as a receptacle and then into special clay pots. Those clay pots are used for the evaporation and crystallization of the brine. They are hung between two brick walls that form part of a furnace. After finishing the arrangement of pots, the workers begin to prepare the furnace, adding the fuel under the clay. As the furnace is fired up, the pots start heating up until the brine starts boiling, with the workers adding periodically more to replace the evaporated liquid. During this process, workers must maintain an optimal temperature throughout the furnace. Generally, the cooking process lasts about three hours to get enough salt. Kaning tasik namo nga gikan sa sagsag ug ikomporar sa dagat mas parat ni siya kay daghan naman na iyang naipon nga mga materialis nga naparat siya kay gikan sa Bunot, gihumol sa kuan. Dagat, nagakuha siya parat, nagidaoban, ibubuwag dagat. Muna siya, ang resulta sa tasik, uh, sa abo, parat, ibubuwag dagat, muna na siya, gika na sa abo, nagkaparat. The salt makers know the process is complete when the clay pots pop exposing the round bottom. The remaining clay with salt is taken out of the furnace and the salt is removed. To achieve this, the workers break the remaining clay, leaving only the artisanal salt. While its demand is lower than that of common salt, the Yassin Tibiuk remains a valuable product due to its unique qualities. This product is packaged with traditional materials, such as woven baskets or food-grade plastic bags and boxes for a broader market. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.